I am so pleased today to have the opportunity to present the Aku Hawaii Award, which allows us to celebrate the breadth and depth of an individual's career. This year, we have the chance to honor a true pioneer. It is my distinct honor to officially present Chuck Rhodes as the 2020 recipient of the Aku Hawaii Award. For six decades, Chuck has combined his passion for the campus housing profession with his ongoing campaign for social justice. He got his first taste of housing when, in 1969, he was the first black resident assistant at Virginia Tech. The road eventually would take him across the country to Sonoma State University, where he worked for 31 years before retiring in 2011 as the Assistant Vice President of Student Affairs and Enrollment Management. Somehow, he also found time for involvement with professional associations. He founded Akuhawai's LGBTQ network and was an early leader of LGBTQ events with ACPA. He served as the first Director of Equity and Inclusion on the Akuhawai Executive Board and received the association's James Hurd Award, Judy Spain Award, and the Akuhawai Foundation's Parthenon Award, as well as the ACPA Diamond Award. Chuck may also hold the attendance record for consecutive Akuhawai Conference and Expos, having attended 31 straight conferences from 1981 to 2012. He may be retired now, but Chuck's work is not complete. In recent years, he earned a Master of Divinity degree and now is pursuing a doctor of ministry in Afrocentric community building and organizing. Ordained by the Fellowship of the Affirming Ministries, he serves as a liaison to the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. And if you have a glimpse at his social media presence, you know that he continues to fight the good fight. Yeah. Please join me in congratulating Chuck and celebrating his life's work. Chuck? Good morning. Let me see if I can get the video. There we go. Good morning. Uh, you have asked me to do the impossible to have a minister speak for two minutes, but I'm going to do it. First, I would like to thank the association and the membership for this recognition. I am truly humbled and grateful. I also want to take a moment to thank the hundreds and thousands of students and staff I had the privilege of working with and learning from during my 40 year career. I'm also going to uh, honor Tim Tiemens, who passed away last year. Tim was my uh, supervisor for about a third of my career at Sonoma and also my colleague for the remainder of my time there. I also um, want to take a moment to recognize uh, those students and staff who were, were fired or dismissed or discharged when they came out of the closet before. And also to recognize those people who had to remain in the closet in order to keep their position. And that's especially uh, want to recognize my friend and colleague, Judy Spain, who was an active in the Kuhawai. I also want to thank my family. Uh, they put up a lot of absences <laughs> in that career of me going away to housing conferences and other events and working long hours and all sorts of things that you all know in the, in, when you're in the housing profession. My comments are few. When I came out uh, as a gay man in 1976, uh, the normal response is for a, you to be fired immediately. And the director of housing at UW-Madison at the time, Newell Smith even suggested that. Um, but somehow the divine and the ancestors interceded and you heard the rest of the story. Uh, my first uh, Kuhu I uh, was in 1981 at the University of Colorado in Boulder. And at this conference, the association voted to exclude sexual orientation from uh, its affirmative action statement. Again, there was divine in intervention. Um, in the process of that time, I'm glad that I've been able to stay with the association to witness our first openly gay president and to see an environment where almost every campus has LGBT staff members without retribution these days. Uh, excuse me, LGBTQ plus. Um, I'm particularly grateful to receive this award because Newell, the, the man who suggested that I be terminated back in the day, 
I did apologize and was the recipient of the same award in 1984. We're in trying times right now. We have uh, new, there are massive shifts that are going on. So I challenge, my challenge to the association membership is to remember that we don't know who will be called to bring forth the next changes for our housing program and for our association. Again, thank you very much for this recognition. I, again, am greatly honored and humbled. And I almost forgot, I need to thank Tom Elliott for nominating and sponsoring me for this recognition. Thank you all.